established real estate sales strategy to become an expert in an area. However, for all the agents that promote themselves as your area specialist, there aren't that many who truly demonstrate market expertise. I'm gonna take you through how to use the statistics portal of Rhines in order to get great insight into your local marketplace that you can use to establish yourself not only as a thought leader, but to be able to provide extra value to your subscribers, to your customers, and to your clients. I'm David Palfreyman, and this is the Statistics Portal on Rhines. I'd suggest that you open it up, log in, and then head into the search sales button down here on the left-hand side. Now, of course, I've used it before, but we're just gonna start a new search as if we're starting from scratch, with the exception that I would say it's worthwhile going in and creating a custom territory, it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, that is the area you want to report on. You can, of course, just type in the location, and this comes from the council territories and suburbs that are preloaded. It's a great place to start, but of course, you can create your own custom territory. I've created one that is specific to Waiheke Island, and there's not a huge amount of really good data about the marketplace on Waiheke, so I'm gonna use this as a way to demonstrate what you can do in order to showcase your expertise, and so you know and you can explain to your clients and customers what's actually happening in the market. The next thing I'd suggest you do is head under the filters tab and remove private sales. A couple of reasons for this, but it would seem that private sales don't always accurately reflect the market value. And it's also possible that some of these are non bona fide, which means it could skew your data. So I choose to remove that particular tab. You can, of course, go for, uh, through and filter further. However, I'm not talking about any other subset except geographic. Once you've done that, you can look at the date period. Now, by default, it will spit out a 12-month period. In fact, it's not quite a 12-month period because it includes August 2020 and includes August 21 data. So that's actually 13 months. You can go back and look at just the last 18 months and, of course, it's a little shortcut to do, sorry, not the last 18 months, a little shortcut to do the last 12 months, which will actually take us from September 2020 through to August 2021, which is a 12 month period. And we can export that data. You can see that there are 416 sales recorded from September, 1st of September 2020 until the end of August 2021. 416 sales, so I'd suggest you quickly go ahead, mark that down there, and just say that in that period, there was 416 sales. Then you can do something more with this. Some of the things that I think are worthwhile to consider in your um, analysis is that if you've got a reasonably small marketplace, in other words, there's not a huge volume of transactions, that one month may not be statistically relevant. And so in order to smooth out some of the spikes and troughs in your data, you might like to compare a three month period. So let's have a quick look at that. My example being, if we're looking from uh, at the same period, three month period last year versus the most recent three month period this year. So for the example that we're working with, we wanna look at June, July, and August 2021. So start with June and then end up with 2021 August, which will provide that three month period. Uh, sorry, actually that's uh, 12 months here. We're gonna move that back to 2020. So June to August 2020, which gives you that three month period. And then of course you can compare that with the most recent one. So back to my quick note taking, 88 sales for June, July, and August 2020. And then of course you can compare that with the same three month period in 2021. I wanna just show you what you can do with this data. And here's where you can get into it. You can create beautiful looking tables, line graphs, etc., um, by exporting the data. So click onto the table tab 
and then export. Of course, you can export it as a PDF, but I'm not sure why you would do that because really what you wanna do is export it as a CSV file, which means you can get the raw data and import it into your spreadsheet software of choice, whether that be Numbers on Apple or Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel, and then you can visualize the data in a way that makes sense. I hope that's helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to seeing you demonstrate expertise in your marketplace.